Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making poor man's hamburger steak. I found this recipe several years ago. We eat it constantly and my family absolutely loves it. So let's get started. In our bowl we have two pounds of ground beef. This is 80-20 I picked up yesterday. And to that, let me take my rings off. I don't want them covered up in schmag. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of all of our spices here. We have Italian spices, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. I only have smoked paprika on hand. And then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, if you do not like spicy, um, go ahead and add less. Remove it all together. Add more. It's totally up to you. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I don't like too spicy, so I'm going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then to this, we are going to add I forgot my measuring cup. So we're going to crush up enough salty and crackers to equal one and a half cups. So we'll open these up. Bad. Oh no. Okay, now we're straight away. <laughs> any frustrations today, take it out on the salty and crackers. Make sure you get out as much air as possible. If not, it's like hitting a balloon. I do like to get these as small as possible. The one time I left them in about, I don't know, maybe this size with these. Oops, bye. Okay, this one and it, I don't know, it just, it soaked up all the milk and the juices or the grease from the hamburger and it just got like wet bread. I, I don't like mushy wet bread myself. So how big or small you make them is completely up to you. a cup and a half. This is just half a cup that I have here. I'm going to take down to the smaller pieces. Half a cup. One cup. And one and a half. Now, we do have extra. This is probably half a sleeve of saltine crackers. I save these. You can either save them for the next time you make it, you can add them to your fried chicken mixture. Okay. Now to the bowl, we're going to add one cup of milk, just like every other recipe that I've showed you <laughs> so far. Um, you can use whole milk, almond milk, 2% milk whatever you have on hand, whatever your family likes to drink. So add that in there. My hands are 100% clean. I did just wash them after putting the hamburger in the bowl. Feel free to use a glove. I did remove my rings, like I said. So we're gonna mix that up. And 
until thoroughly combined. Combined. Uh, yeah. That sounds good. I'll see you in a second. I forgot my cookie scoop. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And actually, I'm going to go wash my hand because I am right-handed and I can't exactly, like, slip and use the cookie scoop. So give me a second. All right, returned. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, I should have started the oven. So let's preheat this baby at 350. Make sure nothing's in there. Get your cast iron skillet hot. You know what? Yeah, we'll use that. Grab this. And the trusty spatula. You want me to jump out of it? What is this? What is this? Oh. It's weird. I sniffed my lids, but I have to make sure that the proper lids show on the proper little jar is here. Okay, a little bit of a cleanup. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to portion out our patties and we're going to fry them. Now, the original recipe I found, you're actually supposed to dredge your patty. I mean, what we're making here is a hamburger, so hamburger patty. You're supposed to dredge them in flour. Now I did that one time. I did not care for the flavor. It was like pasty. I don't know if I did it incorrectly. If you make them, feel free to try dredging them in flour and then frying them. I didn't prefer it, but that's completely up to you. So what we're gonna do here, so I'm gonna measure them out pretty evenly. or at least try. That's not a good one. Let's use two cookie scoops here. Let's roll it into a ball and then make your hamburger patty. Oh, well, because uh, both my hands touch the hamburger, I'm not going to be able to touch the olive oil, so you're out today, buddy. Not hot enough yet. Dang it. Now I'm going to struggle with this again. Such is life, I suppose. You can make these as big or as little as you would like. We are going to be putting them in a 9 by 13 pan. So however many can fit in your pan, that usually works out pretty well. We're going to get a couple of these made to fill up our cast iron skillet. So now that I'm here thinking about it, I wonder how this would taste if you use ground chicken or turkey. If you've ever made this before and you've replaced it with ground turkey or ground chicken, let me know. I may have to try that out. Okay. Mmm. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah. 
Now, I do usually like to flatten these out in a pan more than I have them flattened out before the pan, just because there is 80 20 hamburger and it will shrink up a little bit. And with this size skillet, I can fit three patties. I mean, it probably could fit four, but. Don't burn yourself. Time to watch. Now, usually what I do is I will make up all of my hamburger balls, combine them all together, and then make the patties and kind of stack them in the bowl. That way I don't have to wash my hands 17 times. So I have them And we should have added the olive oil. It's fine. We'll get it in a second. Okay, so while these are frying, I'm going to go ahead and make up all the balls. And then that way we're just prepared. Let's check these patties. Oh, mon ami. Okay. Oil is definitely necessary. I think they do stick right a bit. For sure. Once our patties are about three quarters of the way done, we're going to take them out and put them in our 9 by 13 pan. And because these were a little crispier than they should be, we're going to clean this out real quick. it later. Such is life, my friends. Oh, the guacamole. Okay, so now that we actually have leftover oil in here, Now, if you do have too many patties that uh, won't fit in your 9 by 13 pan, you can either grab another baking pan or freeze them. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper, put those on top, pop them in your freezer two, three hours, uh, let them get solid. I mean, solid, solid, especially if you're going to use a vacuum sealer. That's usually what I do. So solid patties, two to three hours, put them in your vacuum seal bags and pop them in the freezer. And you can make a small batch next time. Okay, so these ones do actually look much better. And what I decided to do today is to go ahead and grab myself another baking dish. And we're just gonna cook up both. They will definitely be eaten in this pot. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, so while those are still cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the homemade cream of mushroom soup that we made earlier today. 
I'll link that. How I don't know yet. I'm still learning YouTube. So anyway, let me grab the cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to top these off. Go ahead and add as much or as little as you would like. We like a lot. You could definitely use store bought cream of mushroom too, but the recipe is so easy. In my opinion. So now what we're going to do is cover these baking dishes with foil. Who foiled the boot? That was not centered at all. All right, in the oven, 350 degrees, 30 to 40 minutes. We'll see you then. Absolutely delicious every single time. Wow, okay, that's another molten lava dish. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed watching what I made for you today, my family as well, um, please consider liking and, and let me try this again. Please consider liking and subscribing. Maybe a little thumbs up action. We'd really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.